Hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I've got a little project on today. Uh, person, uh, well, a gentleman has asked me if I can uh, enlarge the hole in some brass fittings. Uh, it's this hole here that uh, he wants made a slightly bigger uh, is to take this plastic fitting. As you can see, it does not go. This is approximately 20 mil diameter. These are about 18 and a half. <clears throat> I think these are French uh, plumbing fittings. This is uh, what they call a speed fit fitting. Uh, I believe it's English. Uh, so uh, why people want to bring over uh, <laughs> English plumbing stuff to work in France when everything else is metric and, and work on a totally different system, I really don't know. But so be it, this is their choice, not mine. Uh, so I've got uh, two of each of these to do, two of these and two of these. So uh, they're going to be a bit tricky because I've got to try and mount them in the four jaw chuck, uh, which is not going to be easy to trying to set them up. But we'll see how this goes. OK, so follow me in the next couple of frames and see how this goes. Well, to do this job, I'm going to have to use uh, this cutter here. It's actually a, a milling cutter. Uh, it's been it's been ground down and sharpened, uh, not by me but uh, by somebody, to give it a nice flat bottom, and it, it's 20 mil diameter, so it's perfect size for what I want. I'm going to mount it in the drill chuck and put it into the tailstock on the lathe to do this. So uh, what should we go on with this? It uh, should it should work out quite well. As you can see, I've mounted this brass fitting into the four jaw chuck and I'm not turning it too quickly. Um, you have to be a bit careful when you're, you're boring into brass, basically because it, it can snatch and actually drag the drill in. Uh, it bites at it basically as, it's, as it cuts. Um, but anyway, no, this seems to be cutting quite well. Uh, it's not doing too badly at all, really. Uh, I can't turn it too fast, obviously, because it's, uh, it's a four jaw chuck. Um, so, you know, you, it's such a big piece of kit uh, and obviously it's slightly off centre, you know, it's mount, everything's mounted slightly off centre so it tends to vibrate too much if you run it too fast. But uh, no, that seems to be running quite well at the moment. I'm just taking it easy to feed this milling cutter in until we get, uh, get to the base of the, of the, the fitting. Uh, put a nice flat bottom on it and and then the hopefully the speed fit will fit quite comfortably It seems to fit in anyway quite well at the end. That's quite good As you can see I've set this other piece up very similar to the first one uh, Again in the four jaw chuck. It's not too bad really uh, everything seems to be you know, running quite true uh, again, I've you know Using a four-jaw chuck is reasonably straightforward once you you know the principles of it, and uh, I've used them so many times in the past that uh, I, you know I don't find it easy, but it's uh, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, there are certain parameters to adhere to, and uh, once you get those right, uh, everything seems to fall in place. So this is coming on quite nicely. Everything's working in just about right. Um, I think the, the whole thing is uh, running quite nicely. So a little bit more tricky setting this piece up, but, uh, but not too bad really in the end. Well, there you are. Another little job complete. Uh, brass fitting and the speed fit goes into it, no problem at all. Uh, so it, there's a fibre washer that will go on there to seal that. And uh, job done. Okay. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. And if you have any comments to make, please feel free. And if you want to look back at any videos I've made in the, few, in the past, please do so. 
Uh, they're all there. There's about 50 videos online. You can check up on all different things that I've done in the past. And obviously there will be more stuff in the future. So look out for the, the more, more videos in the future. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.